It's our first year at the Climate School, and it's also the year of COP26, where all of these global leaders are coming together to address the climate crisis that is looming. And we just listened to a panel about wisdom behind the events of how to tackle the climate crisis and the things going on at COP. COP26 is a great place for environmental and climate negotiations. The conference was actually very interesting and uh, very informative in a way. And we were discussing ways the climate school could be making changes in the way we think about uh, solutions to climate change. And so my initial reaction to it is to demand leaders, very simply, to reduce emissions, switch to renewables, and take accountability of the historical emissions and leave room in the carbon budget to allow developing nations to develop and adapt to climate change. This is a start. <laughs> um, you know, we're really, we're initiating these conversations and I think there's more motivation in the youth movement to hold uh, these global leaders accountable to the promises that they make. It's really informative to hear from leaders who have a lot of experience, but I think that this talk and kind of this COP in general is really an alarm bell saying that this is one of our last opportunities to make meaningful impact on the climate crisis before it's too late. And one of the themes that's really portrayed in these talks and so forth is that we've had the time for research, we've had the time for knowledge gathering, and now is the time for action. Certain states in, in the United States um, that are on the Gulf Coast experiencing extreme weather. weather. I came to the climate school because I was a youth leader activist in Los Angeles, my hometown, um, starting when I was in high school. I felt like I didn't get the foundation and the background in climate that I needed to succeed in my career in my undergrad, so I decided to pursue a master's degree specifically in climate to kind of hone my focus on carbon removal. I decided to come to the Columbia Climate School because I'm interested in the intersection of international development and sustainability. I really want to work in that intersection and the Columbia Climate School is tackling these interdisciplinary issues at a big scale that I hope to work on one day. I'm super interested in like the social structures related to climate change, but I wanted to understand the math and science background of it. I think there's a lot of discrepancies between how climate change interacts with society and social issues. A lot of times I think it's talked about as an isolated issue when in reality climate change connects to everything. Um, so with that math science background, I'm hoping to be able to translate, you know, what is actually happening in the climate into policy or into social change. I already have a, um, a master's degree in international relations, but I feared that I, uh, I was lacking a uh, scientific background and scientific understanding of what was actually happening. So I decided to come to Columbia University to actually bridge that gap, to actually get the knowledge from scientists uh, and make the connection with the society's issues. I'm just tired of waiting for other people to take action. And so I came to climate school at Columbia because I just know exactly how much Columbia can, can do to make a change. And I think studying here and learning the atmosphere here will really help me literally save the world.